What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install an ENB preset for Skyrim Special Edition. This is a very easy process once you know exactly how to do it, but I'm going to be going through it step by step, so don't worry if you're confused. For those of you that don't know, an ENB is basically a graphical overhaul that drastically improves the appearance of the game. There are many different types of ENBs available to download, but the gameplay you're seeing right now is using the photorealistic ENB with my mod list. It also gives the game a much more realistic feel. All EMBs are installed in the exact same way though, so I'll be using the photorealistic EMB as an example, but you can go ahead and choose any ENB to download and install in the same way. And if you guys really like how my Skyrim Special Edition looks, and you want to check out how to install my whole Skyrim mod list, you can check it out in the link down below in the description. We've actually made a full tutorial on how to install all 130 mods in the mod list. But for now, let's get started on the ENB tutorial. The first step is to download ENB series. You can find this linked below in the description. That link will take you to this website where you can download the latest version of ENB series. Currently, the latest version is 0.325, so I'm going to download that. Just press this download link right here, and there you go, it'll start downloading. But just make sure you download the most recent version if available. The second thing we need to download is our ENB preset mod. The one I use for my mod list and all of my Skyrim videos is PRT, Photorealistic Tamriel. I left a link to it in the description below. Though if you do choose another ENB, the installation process will be exactly the same. Just go to files and then download the latest ENB mod. I'm just gonna press manual download here and then download just there and that'll start downloading. Now these two files here must be extracted so that we can get what's inside. So in order to do that, we're going to need a program called WinRAR. This is a free program. It says that it's a trial, but it's not. The trial is infinite, so it never runs out. I don't know why but you can download it just here. There's a link in the description once again. So just press download. And I'm gonna need the 64-bit version because I'm running on 64-bit, not 32-bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Once this is downloaded, all you have to do is click it and open it and install it. So just press yes, I would like to install it. Then it will show you all the files that should be checked so it can extract them and just press okay. And there you go, you've installed WinRAR, it was that easy. So you can just close this now, and we're gonna go back to the file that we've already downloaded. And now we can right click ENB series, and we can go extract here. So I'm gonna extract that, and you'll see that there's something here called wrapper version. We're just gonna open this, and then all we need to do is copy all of these. We don't need the license or the readme file, we're just gonna copy all of this stuff. Just right click and go copy. Now we need to find Skyrim's root folder. So find Skyrim Special Edition in Steam and then right click on the game and go to properties just here. There you go. Now go to local files, which is just here and then go browse local files. And now it will load up where your Skyrim folder is. And as you can see, for me, it's in my E drive, Steam, Steam apps, common Skyrim special edition. If you want to navigate here manually on your own. But we're just going to right click and then press paste. So now we've installed EMB series, but we still need to install our EMB preset for it to show up in the game and make everything look really pretty. So now guys, we're gonna go back to the photorealistic ENB preset we downloaded earlier, and we're gonna right click and go extract here. And that will extract all the files. And you can see it says ENB series, ENB local, and then ENB series. We're gonna copy these three right here, and all we're gonna do guys is drag it into the same folder we put everything else. So just copy it in, and it will say, replace these files in the destination. We're going to tick yes. And now it's gonna overwrite everything it needs to. And now you've installed your first EMB. You can see this is the Skyrim folder. 
All you need to do now is start Skyrim and your ENB will be installed. When you start Skyrim, your screen will probably look like this. These are basically just instructions of if you want to change the ENB preset yourself and how to do that. If you want to get rid of this, just press the end key on your keyboard. It's just above the arrow keys on your keyboard. Just press end and you'll get this menu. Now you're going to want to come to ENB effect post pass, which is just here. Press the plus button and then scroll down to the bottom and there's a little tick here where it says show PRC helper. Untick that and then just go up to the top left here and click save configuration. Just press that button once, then just press end again and the next time you load up Skyrim that won't happen. And lastly guys, you're going to notice there are these kind of like black bars here on the bottom and the top. I personally really don't like these so we're going to turn these off right now and all you need to do is come here, ENB, effect post pass, just press plus, then we're going to go down to cinematic black bars and we're just going to type in zero here then click off it and now they're gone. Now just make sure you save your configuration again by pressing this button and there you go press end again to get rid of the ENB preset menu and you are ready to load up your save and start playing Skyrim. Let me show you what the game looks like. If you guys are interested please go ahead and check out the full mod list tutorial linked in the description below and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell button because we're actually working on a mod list for Fallout 4, The Witcher 3, Kingdom Come and lots of other games also coming out as well. So we're really excited about it and if you want to stay up to date, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring the bell button. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out. Bye.